Good morning, everybody. So, as we know that the next chapter in chemistry is atoms and molecules. So, now coming to this chapter, let us discuss uh, the substances which we, we will see in our surroundings. Now, if you will see in our surroundings, in our home, so basically, if you will go to the kitchen, we will see a lot of things which we are using as ingredients for our uh, food. And if you will see in our surroundings, uh, we will see a different kind of substances which we used to call it as uh, matter. So you all know what we mean by matter. Can you tell me what is meant by matter, all of you? Yes, please. A matter is a substance which is having having space and uh, yeah, occupying space and mass is only called as matter. Is it yes or no, guys? Anything yes, which will occupy space and having mass who is to call it as matter so that is what we studied is it true all of you matter means a uh, any substance which will having occupying space and having mass who is to call it as matter so now if you look into our surroundings we are seeing more number of matters are uh, substances which is having space and also having mass so if you take like you can go to your kitchen you can find salt sugar if you'll go to outside you can see the sand you might be having jewelry you might be having pencil graphite is present copper metal iron silver gold aluminium wood rocks minerals the food what we are eating the fabrics, what we are wearing, that is what cloths. So if you notice it, all these are called as, what is to call guys? Pot, bed, TV, fan. Like this, most, if you look into your surroundings, we can uh, see huge number of different varieties of substances. So that is what all are a different kind of matter. So whatever I said now, so everything, is it everything is made up of same substance or different substance? Yes, please. Is it same or different? Different, sir. So when you take this, all this sugar, salt, sand, diamond, graphite, etc., etc., all are different kinds of matter. So that is what this matter we used to call as in our uh, uh, our Indian language, the Hindi basically we'll study. Hindi, a matter means which we used to call as Padarth. So Padarth, you might be studying uh, class, till class 8, uh, Padarth. Padarth means matter. So any kind of matter which is known as Padarth, as an Indian philosopher, a first Indian philosopher name is Mr. Uh, Maharshi Kannad said that if you, if you go on dividing matter, that is what Padat, keep on dividing. I will show you one picture. He is a name called as Maharshi Kannad. So what is the scientist name called as? He's actually, he's not a scientist. He's an Indian philosopher. So he's the one who has been discussed the properties of matter first. He has been said that, Mr. Maharshi Kannad, if you are keep on go dividing the matter, we will get a smaller and smaller and smaller particle of matter. Ultimately, we will get the smallest particle of matter which cannot be divided any further. So in this picture, you can notice it. He is cutting what, guys? Anybody check it? He is cutting what? He is cutting the gold. Understanding one gold biscuit, keep on cutting slowly, 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 so that it will turn into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, further smaller, 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 smaller. Finally, he received the smallest particle of matter, which is, which cannot be divided any further. So, based upon this philosophy, Mr. Maharshi Kannad said that, Understanding, he is the one of the first person 
who propose that a matter is made up of very 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 small particles called as as you know it is called as he has been noted as paramanu what is the name this called as what is the name of this one paramanu understanding so that is the smallest thing which has been which has been given by mr kannad uh, what is his name called as maharishi kannad understanding maharishi kannad who is the indian philosopher he is the first philosopher who described the properties of matter so what is the name of that one called paramanu p a r m a n u paramanu is the smallest particle of matter but later mr john dalton called this particles by the name of today what we are studying the who is the smallest particle of matter anybody atoms atoms are atoms so this is the name given by john dalton he is the he is the one who has been called this paramanu is only called as atom which means indivisible means which cannot be divided further please note it down why it is called as the smallest particle of matter is called as atom because it is impossible to divide that atom further more that is what indivisible this is it okay everybody yes please so meaning of atom is indivisible that is the reason we will say the smallest particle of matter is atom so which cannot be divided further is it okay everyone please respond now another philosopher indian another philosopher name called as thakuda kathyayama thakuda kathyayama he is the second philosopher of our india if you want spelling you can p a k u d h a p a k u d h a thakuda kathyayama k a t y a y a m a t y a y a m a thakuda kathyayama he is the second philosopher understand of from our india who went a step further and proposed that the particles of matter are atoms that is what we used to say are paramanu normally existed in a combined form and various combinations of particles gives us various kinds of matter so that is what said by whom guys pakuda kathayama so what he said everybody he said that like little bit more than mr uh, maharshi kannad all the particles of matter that is what atoms are pa paramanu normally existed in a combined form they will never exist alone they always atoms are existed in combined form combined form are together and different atoms will become together and they will produce what hari they will produce different kind of forms understand so that is what he has been called so different kind of matter they will form and this combined form of atom only is called as combined form of atoms only what is the combination of atoms we used to call something anybody molecules molecules so that is what he has been named so always atoms existed in combination of particles which will gives various kinds of matter and this combined form only called as molecules so that is what we used to say so all the matter which is made up of small particles called atoms and molecules so if you will notice i told you different substances in our surroundings like sugar salt sand diamond graphite copper like it various various uh, uh, matters are present in our surroundings now every matter remember 
different kind of atoms and molecules have different properties due to that only we are having different kind of matters because every matter is made up of different substances so because of different substances means different atoms they are having entirely different properties due to that only all the substances are not having same properties so the properties of matter is depends on whom guys anybody can tell me so every substance is having different properties so it is depends upon what based upon the atoms and atoms and molecules from which it is made understand omar is it okay now sugar is one kind of property salt is another property sand is another property it is based upon what kind of molecules or what kind of atoms it is made up of that is what you have to remember are you clear mitakshri aswin johan so all of you should remember who is the smallest okay. particle of matter smallest particle of matter called as padarth understanding or we can say atom and these atoms are co combinedly that they will be commonly existed together that is what the different atoms also combine to form the various molecules so that is what a group of atoms we is to called as molecules so atoms are the smallest particles of matter and molecules are the smaller particles of matter smaller particles so every matter is made up of either atoms or molecules so that is why every matter is having a different properties because every atom will shows the different properties from one another so they does not have same properties is it okay hari everybody are you clear yes sir yes so that is what you have to remember so who has been said about this matter this matter one is atoms given by maharshi kannad and about molecules given by fakuda khatyayama so that is what an another indian philosopher so this is how what the matter is made up of and how uh, atoms and molecules has been uh, suggested by our indian philosophers how every matter is different from one another how they are having a different characteristics different properties from each other from one another because of they are made up of different kind of atoms or different kind of molecules so that is what you have to remember it now to start this is our, now we will describe the law of chemical combination which is uh, established by experiments to confirm that the atoms are being smallest particles of matter so to prove that experiment till now all the philosophy only uh, that marsh kannad or pakuda makatema everybody they are saying theory theory in the sense of they are guessing and they are saying like uh, no experimental proof so we are going to prove it with the experiment that is what we are going to prove that every matter is made up of a uh, smallest particles that is what atoms are the smallest particles of matter so we have to do uh, with practically that is what we are going to study laws of chemical combination which are proving that atoms are being the smallest particles of matter so please all of you keep heading laws of chemical combination laws of chemical combination so your class 9 will be having only two laws but if you go to class 11 again you will study along with these two laws one more law that is what totally law of chemical combination how many laws guys anybody totally now class 9th 2 and class 11th 1 again class 9 11th you will study first 2 plus 1 3 so totally three laws will become the 
law of chemical combination. The first one is called as, which we'll study in class 9, law of conservation of mass. What is the first law, everybody? Law of conservation of mass, or we can say matter. Even in class 11th, we'll study, guys, again this one. Next, second one is law of constant proportion. Most important law. Law of constant proportion. Okay. Then third one, which we'll study in class 11th, is law of multiple proportion. Is it okay, Hari? Yes, sir. Constant proportion, law of multiple proportion. These are the three laws to prove that. What is the aim of these three laws, everybody? What is the aim of these three laws? To prove that atoms are the what? Atoms are the small particles of matter. So, laws of chemical combination, these are the experimental laws which have been formulated by scientists after performing large number of experiments involving various kind of chemical reactions. So that is why these experimental laws ultimately lead to the idea of atoms being the smallest unit of matter. So every experiment of these three laws will be saying that finally atom is the smallest unit of matter. So every matter is made up of a smallest unit is called as atom. So that is what our ultimate term. So after a huge number of experiments, they have been proved with these laws. In fact, all these laws of chemical combination placed a significant role in the development of one of the most atomic theory of matter. You might be already studied. Can you tell me what is the most important theory of matter? First important theory of matter. Mithakshri, Harish, you already studied Garat, I know that. Anybody? Kaushik, Gokul, Dalton's atomic theory of matter. Do you remember everybody? Yes, please. Not studied all. This chapter completed, correct, Hari? Sir? This chapter completed or not? It's going on, sir. Okay. Third chapter only still. Yes, sir. Sir is absent for a week, sir. Okay. So that's fine. So remember, the most important theory of matter is Dalton's atomic theory. You will not study in chapter 3rd, you will study in beginning of chapter 4, you will get it. Yes, Mithakshri, you got it or not? Okay. So, if you are not getting also, doesn't matter, I will teach you. So, no issues. So, this is a major, these three laws only will help to form the first theory of matter. That is what Dalton's atomic theory of matter. So, we will study this one in chapter 4. Now, in this chapter, what we will study means, we will study in this class 9, as I told you, we will study only two laws. What is the two laws we will study in this class 9? One is law of conservation of mass and second one is law of constant proportions. Proportions, okay? Constant proportions. In class 11th, we'll study law of multiple proportions. Now, let us come to here. Law of conservation of mass is the first one. So all of you keep adding. The first law we are going to study, what it is, we'll discuss it. Law of conservation of mass or matter, your choice. First law, law of conservation of mass. So you might be having an insect book also. You can take that book and see that. I will say the history of this and who has been done everything. So observe very carefully, law of conservation of mass. It is has been started in 18th century. That is what we have to remember. 
So in 18th century, first time, all the scientists noticed that if they carried out any chemical kind of chemical reaction, that is what uh, any chemical reaction carried out in a closed container. Do you understand everybody? Chemical reaction, chemical reaction in closed container, they have been noticed that before reaction and after reaction, no change in mass. I hope understand everybody. Yes, Hari Zeras, Harini. So, in 18th century, for the first time, a scientist has noticed that any chemical reaction is carried out in a closed container. Then notice that before reaction and after reaction, after reaction, no change in mass. That is the first thing you have to remember. So, this preservation of mass in a chemical reaction led to the formulation of the law of conservation of mass or we can say law of conservation of matter. So, law of conservation of matter is first given by a scientist name called as Antony Lavoisier. He is the father of chemistry. Please remember that. Antony Lavoisier, father of chemistry. Who has been given the law of conservation of mass? Everybody? Antony, A N T O I N E. I N E. Antony Lavoisier, L O, sorry, L A V O I. L A V O I S, -S I E R. Lavoisier. Antony Lavoisier in 1774. That is what, 18th century. So he is the first one who proposed law of conservation of mass or also another name. What is another name, Mitakshri? Law of conservation of matter. matter. Okay. All of you should remember. Understand Divya, Harish Omar, Gopal. Yes. That is what you have to remember. So now. Let us come to here. What is this Antony Lavoisier said about this? Remember, matter is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. That is only called as law of conservation of mass. Please write the definition. According to the law of conservation of mass, according to the law of conservation of mass, what is the first law, ma? Yes, sir. What is the first law? According to the law of conservation of mass, matter is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Matter is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Write it neatly. Very, very important. First law of chemical combination. Matter is neither created nor destroyed, neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction, in a chemical reaction. So you might be studied already in class 8th, class 7th and all. Chemical reaction, basically two things will be there. Can you tell me anything? What is that chemical reaction means in the form of equation? You will say two, uh, two things are present. Anybody? One is reactants and after reaction, what will come guys? After reaction, what will come guys? Products. Products will come. So, reactants will chemically react and will produce the products. This is what we used to call as chemical equation or chemical reaction who is to call it as chemical reaction. All of you should remember. So, whenever the substances combine together or react together, they used to call it as, what we used to call Hari? They used to call it as reactants. All of you should remember. Who is going to react 
is called as reactants and new substances are forming what are the new substances called as everybody products products new substances are called as products going to react is called as reactants if you want you can write the definitions also so this is what you have to remember so in any kind of chemical reaction whatever the substances are going to react what are the substances are going to form before reaction and after reaction so for example i will take 5 kg of reactants so after chemical reaction i will get the products also how much guys i will get the products also how much 5 kg understanding maybe they are having reactants having different properties different properties and the products may be having different properties but totally who is remains constant who is remains constant all of you mass is remains constant understanding physics mass means what is the unit of mass everybody mass means who is a mass mass unit of mass physics yaar what is the use of studying then what is the unit of mass kg sir kilogram so that is only called as law of law of conservation of mass so mass neither be created nor be destroyed during any chemical reaction the total mass of the reactants before reaction and the total mass of the reactants products after the reaction remain yes something is happening okay so that is what we is to called as law of chemical combination first law law of conservation of mass so first if you want you can write reactants right the substances which combine together the substances which combine together the substances which combine together are react we can say react together together in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction is called reactants is called reactants new substances formed as a result of chemical reaction new substances formed as a result of chemical reaction as a result of chemical reaction what is it called as everybody what is it called as sorry zeras akilan they called as what new substances products called as products so every chemical reaction will be having two things before reaction what we is to call guys before reaction we is to called as reactants after reaction we is to called as products so please remember this okay so this is what we is to say so before reaction the total mass of the reactants is equals to after reactions the total mass of products remains constant that is only called as what is to call law of conservation of mass or we will say law of conservation of matter hope everybody understand vidakshri akilan gokul everyone so write it definition a law the law of conservation of mass sir i can't understand that part last part alone sir what ra the last part which one over yes sir the last part i can't understand what is this products sir yes sir products means after chemical reaction i will tell you one example then you will understand okay for example calcium carbonate if we we'll, if we we'll take calcium carbonate calcium carbonate okay 
For example, I will take 100 grams. Is it okay, Omar? How much calcium carbonate I have taken? 100, 100 grams. Okay. Now, if I will start heating, if I will start heating, this is what we used to call as a reactant. We used to call reactants. If I will start heating, okay, the chemical reaction will take place. Reaction will take place. Yes, sir. We're going to get the products of two. One is calcium oxide, second one is carbon dioxide. Calcium oxide yes, plus carbon dioxide. Is it okay, Omar? So yes, sir. Before reaction, reactants. After reaction, we used to call them as products. This is what products we used to say. New substances are coming. They are called as products. Okay. Now, what is the reactant yes, mass? How much we have taken reactant mass? 100. 100. Products, we are getting two products. But the total mass should be equals to what? 100. 100 grams. That is what? When, when I operated this one in a closed container, because... If I will open container, if I will do, is it possible to get the equal mass? Anybody? Without mm -hmm. saying Harish, Eras, Harish. If I will do in an open container, is it possible to get it? No, sir. No. Why? No, sir. Carbon dioxide gas will escape. That is what it is. So, if I will do this 100 grams of calcium carbonate, all of you remember, I will get 56 grams of calcium oxide and 44 grams of carbon dioxide. 56 grams of calcium oxide, 44 grams of carbon dioxide. Combine these two, which is equals to what? Again, 100 grams. grams. So, mass is remains constant. Do you notice it? Mass is neither be created nor be destroyed in any chemical reaction. Do you understand, Omar, now? Yes, sir. So these two are called as products. These two are called, this one is called as reactants. So if you want chemical reaction also, I will write CaCO3, calcium carbonate, if I will heat, CaCO3 is a calcium carbonate. It will produce calcium oxide, CaO plus CO2. Future, you will study the chemical formula. Is it okay, Ra? Harish? Johan? Yes, sir. Yeah. So CaCO3, same equation. So if I will take 100 grams of CaCO3, I will get 56 grams of CaO plus 44 grams of CO2 will come. So this is only called as law of chemical uh, conservation of mass. The first law of chemical combination. Okay, Akilan, Gokul, Kaushik, Asin Balaji. So this is the example also you can write. First rate definition, learn very, very important. It, it has been done experiment, guys. I am not saying no. It's not for namesake. If you have been done the chemistry lab, if you have been done 100 grams of 100 grams of calcium carbonate, if you will burn, you will definitely will get this one. So this is the example which will support the law of conservation of mass. So first you write the definition, later you can write. Including the mass of gases also you should consider. That is why always we should do in a closer container or open container. Everybody. Closed container. Closed container. Okay, that is you have to remember. Write the definition. The law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass means that neatly learn everyone. Very, very important definition. First law. Who has been given this law? Anybody? Who has been given this law? Anthony Lavoisier. Anthony Lavoisier, father of chemistry. Right. The law of conservation of mass means that law of conservation of mass Abhirami, understand Abhirami? Kaushik? Yes, the law of conservation of mass means that yes, in a chemical reaction law of conservation of mass means that in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction comma in a chemical reaction, comma, total mass of products, total mass of products, total mass of products is equal to the total, total mass of products is equal to the total mass of products is equal to the 
total mass of total mass of whom guys total mass Reactive. of reactants total mass of reactants full stop there is no change in mass there is no change in mass there is no change in mass during chemical reaction during chemical reaction is it okay guys all of you yes please yes sir yeah so on one point you should write note note 